just trim the small piece off the bash bar just so we could fit the bumper on and now she's looking pretty sweet next up we're just gonna chuck the lights in corner lights in and she'll be ready for a paint as you can see here the race line kit's got like the under piece here so we're gonna do the same black on that rather than have it just one solid color i'm gonna run a black strip all the way down black there and then up the front as well we're gonna do the black strip from here carry that all the way around so we're eventually gonna get a livery on it um can't wait for that let me know what sort of colors you want to see on it. i'm almost thinking like a red black chrome maybe a bit of teal pink you know a few things in there yeah anyway we'll get these lights in and we'll see what it looks like Front here we are running a 25 mil spacer with the 18 10 and a half plus 15 so it looks like we're gonna have to run another 25 mil spacing it out 50 mil just so we can um, complement these huge guards uh we've got a 25 mil in there and i think like a five mil as well making that a 30 so we've got the 18 11s on the back and that's got a plus 18 so fills it out pretty good this one uh not perfect, but she's still pretty sweet. As you can see up here, I need to space this out a little bit too. I'll just widen them out a little bit. We'll start off in the middle and then we might have to slot it back and forth just to get the perfect fitment, but we'll see how that goes. We just need to widen out the holes a little bit more. It's sitting pretty good. Sitting pretty even there, so we'll just tidy this up a little bit. As you can see that, I just need to open that up. Drill a little bit down on that one so we can slide that through and we'll be away. Just change to a bigger drill bit. Make the job a little bit easier. We're getting there. We could have yeah, done the holes a little bit different, but on the side we'll run it back and we'll see what it looks like. Unfortunately though, this one has a snapped bracket. Pretty common problem with these S13 lights. Everyone's a bloody menace with the insides of them. This one's been plastic welded. Lucky came with that thing though, so I can still bolt it up. But yeah, this one I'm gonna have to make a new mount. Yeah, we'll get onto that and we'll see what we can do. I'm just gonna drill these holes out. Once again, slot them, you know, up and down sort of thing. I was gonna slot them like left to right, but that's not actually our problem. With this one, as I said, yeah, I just need to slot this up a bit more and then this one's gonna come up too. So I'm just gonna bridge that gap there and we should be perfect. This one. Now we have a couple holes. I just put this one down a little bit as I think me, me eyeball <laughs> measurements were off a little bit. You guys remember that one? Uh, my eyeball measurements weren't too far off this time. I'm just going to open those holes up a little bit, slide that through, and it should give us almost the perfect, perfect fitment for the light. And then, yeah, I've only got one mounting tab here, so hopefully she holds for the big backies. Just notice that the pieces for the corner light are budging it. As you can see, oh, just there. We're just going to notch out a little bit just at the front. Same as this side. And it should actually get it sitting a lot nicer, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Just use the grinder and just got a little notch out of there. We'll just do the same on the other side. Same again on that side there. This one's a bit uh, rough, but you won't see it. And just like that. Literally perfect. You can just see there, just this, um, it's the mounting point for the corner light. It has a little uh, plastic tab on it, so we just notch that out. I need to bend the tab up a little bit and the bumper needs to come up a bit more, but she's looking good. So, uh, that is done. I can sort of play around with the lights a little bit, you know, here and there to, I don't know, get them perfect, but drift car status. They work 
Looks all right. Um, I just need to pull the bumper up a little bit, but we can do like the final pieces once we get it back from paint. Yeah, we're looking good. We're just gonna chuck the corner lights in now and we should be good to go. There, we have the car back together. Corner lights are a bit hit and miss. This one's a bit off. And then I'm just gonna raise the bumper up a little bit too. But yeah, there we have Origin Raceline S14, Origin Raceline S13, and Origin Raceline S15. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna chuck some spaces on the front and we'll see how she looks. The secret sauce. So we're gonna chuck one each of these on either side, giving us literally this, 50 mil. So she's gonna be big, but as you can see, the footman is not packing. Don't mind the height. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty height to be getting this thing under the, not bad. And now, we have some more poke. Much better. Just have me little helper help me with the spaces. Make sure to always bolt the spaces down. So just gonna chuck the wheel nuts back on. Back on the ground. See if we can beat this weather. Holy, I've got about five minutes. Take it outside for some photos. Real quick. So uh, yeah, as you can see, the rain's coming now. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, finally back with the YouTube videos. Uh, whatever you want to see next, just let me know down below and I shall film it, do it, whatever you want.